to. Oh, it's recording. Good morning, BYW students. It's Mr. O'Sullivan. And Ms. Townsend. And Ms. Townsend, what are we going to be doing today? So today we're going to focus on the second part of the um, project. And so this is where they're looking for the apartments and putting in the descriptions and the requirements for the apartments. So we're not doing any math today. There is no math. There when is, is no writing. So it's writing intensive, correct? That is correct. Good. So ladies, there's no calculating. There's no determining. There's no evaluating. There's no factoring. There's none of that stuff. All you're doing is you are doing research. So this is stage two or part two of the New York, New York, the city so nice that you want to live in it twice, twice PBAT, um, performance-based assessment task. Um, Ms. Townsend, can you read the directions? Sure. Answer each of the following questions to the best of your ability. This is a group project where you are able to work in groups of two to three, and we know that there's a group of one, four. Um, this is a stage two. This is stage two of your project. Make sure that you complete a stage each week so that you do not fall behind. Only one Google form will be submitted per group. That's really important. So you're only doing one per group. And the big idea is that students will find three different apartments explicitly state to suit. <laughs> so this, that you do not need to be, the apartments do not need to be in the same neighborhood. So ladies, the apartments that you're looking for, we're asking you to find three different ones, but they do not need to be in the same neighborhoods. And then the name and photo associated with your Google account will be recorded when you upload files and submit this form. <laughs> you didn't have to read that part. <laughs> so ladies, Mr. O'Sullivan, I'm going to type in my email, cosullivan316 at uasbyw.net. Um, again, Ms. Townsend and I are in a group, so we're going to do Ms. Townsend and Mr. O'Sullivan. You are not allowed to change your groups. Once you've picked your group, you're already stuck with them. So for instance, Ms. Townsend is stuck with me, even though she probably wants to work with, even though she wants to work with someone else. Okay, so now you have to think about the neighborhoods you chose last week. If you have a hard time finding an apartment in those neighborhoods, that's totally fine. Um, some neighborhoods don't typically have listings on Street Easy. They might have them on some other website. So for instance, like I know Ms. Townsend has gone through a broker. They typically know about all the openings, even the ones that aren't ne necessarily advertised. Um, so yeah, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use Street Easy to find a studio apartment in one of the neighborhoods that we want us to look into. <clears throat> Just giving you a heads up. I, Ms. Townsend, correct me if I'm wrong, two of the three apartments have to have a fee, correct? We did say that. Yeah, so only one of the apartments can be no fee. Only one. And no fee and means... about the broker fee, ladies. We're talking about the broker fee. Which is typically a percentage or an additional month or even two months rent or even sometimes one and a half months rent. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use Street Easy. We're going to demonstrate a model how to find a studio apartment in the neighborhoods that Ms. Townsend and I chose, which I believe were Clinton Hill and Park Slope, Absolutely. right? Mm -hmm. We'll add one more neighborhood. We'll do Prospect Heights as well, just to make it like, you know, um, continuous. Or we can do Fort Greene, whichever you prefer. Um, we're going to use Street Easy to find a studio apartment in the neighborhood. One neighborhood. We're only going to pick one studio, not two studios, not three studios, just one. Um, that we want to look into. We're going to indicate the amount of money and rent that we paid per month, not for the duration of lease, just per month. And we're also going to tell, tell you if it's a no fee apartment and we're going to include the link. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Street Easy. We're going to click on rentals. Um, Ms. Townsend and I chose Park Slope. This needs to go away. Park Slope. We chose Clinton Hill. Ms. Townsend, can you just give me one more Brooklyn neighborhood? Best I. That's I. Okay, so ladies, what we're going to do first is we want to look at studios. So we're going to click on studios. Ms. Townsend, do you want our studio to be no fee or do you want to possibly include a fee? Since they're the smallest, I, I would say it should have a fee. Perfect. So we're going to click search. And if you look, there are 149 studios currently available for rent in this geographical region. Best Stuy. Clinton Hill, and then Park Slope. Okay. So Ms. Towns and I are on a teacher salary. So we're definitely going to do the least expensive one. So we're going to have it organized least expensive. Maybe we'll splurge a little on the two bedroom since there's going to be two people living there. 
Um, and Miss Townsend, I'm gonna scroll and scroll. If you look, ladies, we have pictures and we know it's no fee if it says no fee, no fee. So Miss Townsend, can you tell me when to stop when you seem a little interested in something? Um, go back to the Willoughby because I, I really like Willoughby Avenue. 817? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna click on it. And then Miss Townsend, I'm gonna scroll through the pictures. Ooh, it's got a fireplace. Oh, it's a nice size room. That's a nice size room. That's a nice size studio. So Ms. Townsend, would you like this to be the studio we look into? Yes, 1375 is doable. Perfect, that's, that's definitely doable. So what we're gonna do now is if we go back to our Google form, it says using Street Easy, find the studio apartment in one of the neighbors that you want to look into. So the studio apartment that we found is located in Bedford Stuyvesant, not Bedford, Bedford Stuyvesant. Or you can say bed -Sty. we know the neighborhood uh, nicknames. Um, the amount of money that is going to be paid per month was, I think, $13.75? Yep. It is $13.75. $1,375. Um, is this a no fee apartment? Let's just double check to make sure it's no fee. Ooh, do we have that banner? Nope, so it, there is a fee. There is a fee for this apartment. This, there is a fee for this apartment. So if we look, let's see. Cozy Studio, $1,350. I'm going to assume that since there's nothing here, that the fee is just going to be one additional month's rent. Would you agree with me, Ms. Townsend? That is correct. Typically, it will say if it's something other than that. If it's a fee department, it's always going to either be one month's rent or a little more. So we're just going to assume that our fee for this apartment is thirteen fifty. Wait, it said it was thirteen seventy five. There's a discrepancy. Mm, so I think we should base our answers off this, right? That it, I would, I would. Yeah. So our fee for this apartment will be thirteen seventy five. The fees associated with this apartment are thirteen hundred seventy five dollars. It's not thirteen hundred seventy five per month. It's just going to be thirteen hundred seventy five as your flat fee. The link is, and all you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste. That way, Ms. Townsend and I can look at it in case we need to like, you know, verify in case there's like any discrepancies or if you're stuck with something. Now, Ms. Townsend, can you read, we answered all these questions, right? We did. Good, can you read this part? Yep, for the studio apartment that you just found, please include a few screenshots of the listing so that we can see the advertisement. You should take screenshots in case the listing is taken down too. And you're gonna attach them below. Okay, so ladies, when we mean screenshots, we mean we want you to take a picture of this. Or, since I'm on my laptop right now, I can't really attach the files because it won't go to my downloads. But I'm going to just take a quick screenshot. You can do it on your phone like this. And look, I'm highlighting my page to be this. And then I screenshotted it. And then what I would do is, Let's see if the file pops up somewhere. There I'm, going, I'm going to stop sharing for a second. It's still recording. Where is it? I can't find it anywhere. It's not in the top in the middle where it says screenshot? No. Oh, because I didn't do it the correct way. I did it where it copies and pastes. Uh -huh. Command shift four. Now let's see. Okay, my screenshots aren't appearing on my desktop, so I have no idea where they're going. That's a little weird. Okay, but yeah, so you would just take a screenshot of the posting and then, one second, share screen. Yes, yeah, so you'll just take a screenshot of the posting similar to this. If you want, you can include other pictures of the apartment like this. The kitchen. Or if you want, you can also include like the description as well. 
Miss Townsend, would you agree that's like some of the things you'd want to look at, like pictures of the apartment itself and then the yeah, possible description? What they say about the apartment. And look, it's near the J, the M, and it's near the 40, B46. Um, okay, so we did our studio. We would then attach the files there. Um, Ms. Townsend, can you read me this part? Sure. What type of building is the studio located in? So is it a private house? Is it a co-op a condo? Is it a large luxury building, a storefront? So if we look at this, it doesn't really tell us what type of building we're in, right? It doesn't tell us anything. So what we're going to do is we're literally going to copy and paste the address. Oh, wait, it tells us right here. Three family home and Stevenson Heights. So it's a small building. Yeah, it's a small building. And if you want to verify that, all you should do is you just have to copy and paste the address. So I'm copying and pasting the address. I'm going to put it into Google Maps. Oh, Miss Townsend, you chose a brownstone. That is nice. Yeah. And Stevenson Heights is, is one of the nicer neighborhoods in, um, in Brooklyn. I really like this one. The pink one. Yeah, that one's a nice one. And then even this one's nice. So yeah, so if you want to be specific, you can say it's a brownstone or you can just say it's a small building or a three family home, or you can say it's a multi-family home. So Ms. Townsend, what type of building is the studio located in? So this is a brownstone. So ladies, if you, one thing you notice is we're not putting bullets. We're not saying one word answers. We are doing complete sentences. If you have any questions on how to write these sentences or what to do, just easily ask myself or Ms. Townsend. Now, the duration of the lease for the studio, are there any free months? If you look, there's no information on the lease agreement. So your lease agreement is going to be how many months, Ms. Townsend? Well. 12 months, one year. New York City leases are typically done in 12 months or two years, right? Unless otherwise stated. Correct. And it, that will, if it's one of those weird situations, it will be explicitly stated. Mm -hmm. So this is a 12 month lease. And if we look again, there are no free months. It does not say anything about free months. So I think bed is like one of the neighborhoods where there's actually not many apartments giving concessions because it's more like a Brooklyn really isn't doing the concessions. It's mainly Manhattan. They're really hot neighborhoods. And so they're, they're not given concessions because there are people looking to rent the apartments. So now we finished our studio. Now we're going to do our one bedroom. Park Slope, Park Slope. I'm hoping it's Park Slope. Should we do a no fee one for this one? Yes. Yeah, I want a no fee one. Okie dokie. Oh my God. There's a no fee. Oh my God, and look, there's so many things going on with it. There's so much we can do with this. Oh, there's a net effective rent. Oh, this was a good example. Oh, this, I love those floors. The hardwood floors are beautiful. The floors are beautiful, and I know exactly where this is. This isn't, this isn't that far from my apartment. I'm not a fan of the kitchen, but I could put carpet. I could put like little rugs in there. Okay, so let's definitely do this one. Park Slope, oh my God, no broker fee. Yeah. This has everything we want. Okay, so ladies, we're definitely gonna choose this apartment. We're not gonna do any more digging. So we found a one bedroom, park slope. So this is where we're gonna have to be very specific. The rent is 1795 per month, theoretically. And here's what Ms. Townsend and I mean by theoretically. It's not really $17.95 per month. However, that's a good way to transition, right? Yes. You are only really paying $14.96 a month. Because of free rent month. Um, is this a no fee apartment? This is a no fee a month apartment. This is a no fee apartment. And look at how many months they're giving us for free. Two free months. And it tells you it's a 12 month lease. So we're only really paying for 10 months. So, um, this is a no fee apartment. The link for this apartment is
per one bedroom apartment, you would then do the screenshots again. So like for instance, Ms. Townsend, I would love to see the description. Oh my God, Ms. Townsend, look. Oh, it's a rent stabilized apartment. Open airy space, spacious. I love those tin ceilings. Oh my God, this is amazing. This is a nice apartment. And look, it's not a huge building either, six units. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna have to copy and paste that address so we can see what type of building it is also. Um, so we would then attach screenshots of our posting, whatever you need. I changed the settings so that you can post a lot of files if you need to. Um, what type of building is the one bedroom apartment located in? I'm definitely thinking it's not a huge building because look, there's only six units in this building, right? So I'm thinking, it's Prospect Avenue, so it probably isn't a storefront. It's a small building. It's definitely a small building, or it might be like above something. Or it might be, a, I don't know. Let's see, let's look, 340. That is not far from my apartment. This is more like Windsor terrace area. This is like where you're getting to Windsor Terrace, but I would agree, this is sort of Park Slope. And if we look. Yep, small building. Small building, it's a small apartment building. Oh, I love this street. I go on walks over here. There's a, wait, there's a beautiful home. One second. Let's deviate a little. There's a beautiful, beautiful home somewhere on. Oh my God, look at these stairs. Those are colorful. Those are very colorful. Okay, so this is a very small apartment building. The apartment is located in a small apartment building. Very small, it's only six units and it's three floors. But the apartment's huge. <laughs> it was a nice size apartment. What is the duration of the lease? I think it was a 12 month lease, right? 12 month lease. The lease is 12 months, but there are two free months. The lease, one of the things that I wanted to let you know is that the free months are actually, you still pay the real rent. However, a lot of the times you can talk to your broker or you can talk to the management company and say, is there a way I can pay the net effective rent each month? And a lot of them are what they're doing now in the past, they never did this. What they're doing now is they're saying, yes, you can pay the net effective rent each month. It is crazy what New York City rental markets are like right now, right, Ms. Townsend? They are at their, their lowest occupancy in years and years. Hence why I'm moving in the summer. <laughs> so that is our one bedroom apartment. Oh my God, and it's 790 square feet, which is rare for Park Slope, especially for that price. Okay, now we're gonna do a two bedroom. But Ms. Townsend, I think since we found one in Park Slope, bed -Stuy, I think we should just look for the two bedroom in Clinton Hill. I think so too. And this one, I think since we wanted them to have two fees, we're gonna try to find a fee apartment. Right. Oh, I only did Park Slope, my apologies. Let me change it to Clinton Hill. Hell. And hell. Let's see. Ooh, and look, we have a nice luxury building first, but that definitely isn't one we want. Right. That's a. Oh, wait, one second. Why isn't it doing two bedrooms? Oh, refined search. Two bedrooms only search. Okay, Miss Townsend, I'm going to scroll and scroll and scroll. Tell me when you want me to stop to look at one. Okay, all the, the ones that up at the top are no fee, so you have to scroll. These are all no fee. Yeah. Well, that one is not, so we can do that one, 485 Myrtle Avenue. Oh, we can do that one. Or do you want to do one that's like out of our price range? That one is fine. Okay, ooh, and there's a video tour. So ladies, one of the nice things is one of the things that's really popping up now is that more of these apartment websites are doing video tours. That way you can get like the full effect of what the apartment looks like. I bet Miss Townsend, you've been in this situation, but I've definitely looked at pictures of an apartment. I'm like, oh my God, this apartment's huge. And then I go there and I'm like, I barely fit through the door. Right? Like, I don't know what camera they're using, but like, I was like. That has happened to me before. I looked at this beautiful apartment on the Upper West Side. It looked huge in the pictures. I was like, oh my God, you can get like an L-shaped couch. You can have like a table and everything and you can still have room to move around. I looked at it. Was the size of a matchbox? It was the size of a, it was like the size of a box. I was like, but there were a lot of closet spaces. So Miss Townsend, I like these floors. I do too. 
I actually like the kitchen. The kitchen looks like a decent size and the bedrooms look huge. And it has stainless steel appliances, which I like. I'm just going to play a video real quick to see if like we're, if we're being fooled. Can you not play YouTube videos? Oh, there was an error with it. Oh, and it's not far from Pratt. This is a nice area of Clinton Hill. It is. I used to live right down the block from Pratt on the next block. So if we look, this is in the Pratt area. It's a pre-war brick townhouse. Miss Townsend, why do you always pick the townhouses? You're really, you just got a good eye. Miss um, Townsend, can you explain what floor through means? So I don't think that was one of our vocab words. So the floor through is, it's, it's sort of similar to a, a railroad apartment. It just goes from one end to the other, from the front of the house to the back of the house. So if they're like on the right side, they basically take up the whole right side of the building for that floor. For that floor. Perfect. Oh, that's great. I see a lot of pros with that. And look, it's not far from Wegmans, which I, I haven't been to because I just don't have a car. It's yeah, not far from there's Wegmans. There's a laundromat downstairs, which was close to me. I mean, that was important for me. And if we look... One of the things, I, I know this isn't part of the project, but if you look, a year ago, this apartment was going for 2,500. A year ago, Miss Townsend, look at that price drop. There's a $350 price drop per month. They're only going down. I don't see them going up. I only see them going down. So what we're gonna do is we're definitely gonna choose this one. I like this one, Miss Townsend. And if we look, it also isn't that far from a bus. I know that there's buses on Myrtle Lab. I know there's buses over here, especially with the colleges there. But also, if you wanted to, you can take the bus to Classen or Clinton, Washington. Or you can walk if it's a nice day. So we found our two bedroom in Clinton Hill. The rent to be paid each month is $21.50. So this, there's no free month. We typically see the free months here, or we'd see the free months here. So we're paying $21.50 a month. It really isn't that bad for a two bedroom. No. This apartment does have fees. Which are approximately one month rent, correct? That's what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like, because it would say it here if it was like 10% or 15%, which are approximately one month's rent. The link is, I'll copy and paste it. I really wanna see what this townhome looks like. Cause every now and then I look at like apartments in Fort Greene because I just love what the architecture is like in Fort Greene. Oh, they're beautiful. And then ladies, we would take our screenshots like this. If you want to, I actually think the map would be very beneficial even though we can just look up the address. But Miss Townsend, and I know Brooklyn so well so we know where everything is. Um, and if you want, you would take your quick screenshots and then you would attach them to the Google form. Now we know it's a townhome, but like, let's just look to see if it's like a single family townhome. Is it attached to something, vice versa? So I'm gonna type it in. I don't think it's a single family because it says apartment number two, but okay. Let's look. Oh my God, this house and this is beautiful. And look, you're re literally right next door to the laundromat. And that's better. I would say that's just like having it in building, except you're right next door. I would think so too. And you're also above a nice restaurant and you're next to a hair place. Like you really never have to leave. So it has and all the things that- Look what you're across the street from. It has all the things that I'm looking for in the neighborhood. It has everything you need. So ladies, I definitely recommend Miss Townsend. I think you would recommend this also, right? Definitely play around on Google Maps and just like explore your surroundings. And look, if you have TV bank right across the street. I absolutely would. So this two bedroom is located in, so it is a townhouse, but if we look at it a little deeper. Yeah, it's a small apartment building. It's a small apartment building that's above a restaurant. So you can call it a storefront or yeah, is located in a small apartment building and is above a restaurant. Honestly, I even though I live above a pizza place, I feel like this is much cleaner than my last apartment building. I think the reason why it's so clean is because like restaurants have to file, follow all the regulations. 
yeah like health inspectors all that stuff and like you'll get dinged if you have as any, well as garbage disposal you'll get dinged for any of the stuff that's like you know not acceptable so right. like no graph ding he means you'll have to pay fines and fees which they don't want to do so they make sure their stuff is clean mm-hmm. so i got a deli and a pizza place i'm above of so my building's typically pretty clean okay so it was a two bedroom looking at a small apart- apartment building it's above a restaurant um and if you look it's definitely a small apartment building because ladies look there's only three units that's beautiful that you only have three units um and typically in those buildings it's one unit per floor right so you have the whole floor so you and if we look this is apartment number two so you're right in the middle which isn't a big deal so it's probably only two flights up um and then the duration of the lease there's nothing explicitly stated so it's a 12-month lease the lease for this two bedroom is 12 months. And there are no free months, sadly. And then when you're done, you hit submit. I can't hit submit because I wasn't able to att- attach my files because my screenshots weren't appearing. But yes, that's all you'll do. You'll hit submit. Ms. Townsend, is there anything else we need to go over this or do you think that they're all good? No, they should be all good. Um, obviously, ladies, if you have questions, you should ask Mr. O and I. But I think this video was very uh, thorough as an exam- example of what we're expecting from you. Yeah, and there's so much more we could have expected. As I was thinking of more things we could have added, but next year, next year. Yes. Ladies, have a great day. And please, if you have any questions, email myself, Ms. Townsend, or Ms. Jimenez. Bye, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Stop sharing and then stop recording.